Hello and welcome to IABM TV. Sam, delighted to be hosting a panel discussion with Ashark News and Newsbridge, where we're going to be talking about a recent project that they undertook around an AI-based indexing service. Joining me today is Cathy Batrick, Senior Manager, Library and Media Management at Ashark News, Philippe Petitpont, CEO at Newsbridge, and Rachel Cooper, Marcom Manager at Newsbridge. Everybody, welcome to IABM TV. Thank you for joining us today. So, Cathy, could you please introduce yourself and your role at Ashark News? Yes, certainly. Um, my name's Cathy Batrick. I'm the Senior Manager of the Library and Media Management Department here at Ashark News. I'm responsible for the setup and the management of the department and the teams that manage the incoming production files, production service space, um, the archiving, cataloging and the AI indexing we're going to discuss today. Excellent. And Philippe, can you tell us about your role at Newsbridge? Yeah, so I'm Philippe Petitpont. I'm the CEO here at Newsbridge. And I co-founded the company in 2016 with my brother Fred. We combine our expertise in broadcast engineering and artificial intelligence and big data to help our users dealing with this overwhelming, this overwhelming amount of video data that uh, TV station uh, broadcasters are gathering every day. So really, um, well, explaining my role is not so simple. It depends every day, but uh, the main goal at Newsbridge is really to help our users and our customers to leverage AI on cloud to be able to valorize those, those media assets with artificial intelligence. Okay, and Rachel, tell us about your role at Newsbridge. Hi there. Um, so my name is Rachel Cooper. I'm a Marcom manager uh, here at Newsbridge. And so I've had the pleasure of working with Kathy and the rest of the team um, on our previous press release, which was our announcement uh, with our Sharp News. And um, I'm, I'm really happy to, to be here today. Thank you. So can you tell us what is Newsbridge's mission? Sure. So our main mission here at Newsbridge is really to provide unprecedented access um, between users and their content. We're removing all barriers um, so that they can find what they need uh, in seconds among their multi-layered um, assets. So we do this by offering a product. So in our case, it's an AI-powered media hub um, that leverages, again, our native and signature multimodel indexing AI technology in the cloud. Um, so we're processing our users' ingested content like big data. Um, so we're auto-enriching it with metadata in seconds, which um, allows for advanced search and retrieval um, of content. So that's um, cross-analysis of faces, logos, objects, speech-to-text, um, and more. So whether it's media logging, archiving, monetizing, investigative research, our solution really allows for next-gen uh, media valorization of live and archived content. So we work with a variety of sectors around the world. We work with TV channels, production houses, journalists, major sports federations, um, really you name it. Uh, the common denominator is really the fact that Newsbridge uh, platform on average saves around uh, eight hours of indexing um, per day. So we're, we're looking at man labor versus machine labor. We're really letting AI do a lot of the heavy lifting here. Um, so that's just one uh, important element. Um, and then we also really uh, take our, our customer feedback seriously, um, which in response, we recently launched our, um, it's one of our newer features, it's a content monetization uh, showcase and, and resale portal, um, which is really an outlet. It's a portal um, where we allow uh, customers to sell their own content to, to buyers. Um, so which, which results in generating new and also diversified revenue streams. Let's actually look at the project that we're here to talk about today. So, Cathy, can you give us some background on the initial challenges that drove the need for an AI based indexing services? And did you have any specific objectives and what were the industry trends driving this need? The main thing for us is um, ease of finding content. Ashark News is a 24 7 multi platform news uh, channel. And um, news production and breaking news is incredibly fast paced. It's becoming even more important to find the shots you need more quickly and more easily, particularly as newer technologies and means of communications emerge. And so, Cathy, what were you looking for in an ideal solution? We were looking for uh, the ability to create metadata and search in English and Arabic. We needed Arabic translation or transcription, sorry, with English translation to a good degree of accuracy and covering a wide range of Arabic dialects. We also wanted really good people detection and recognition with the ability to really 
easily train the system to recognize new people ourselves. That was really, really important. There's a lot of people in our content that aren't recognized, you know, automatically necessarily. So we need to be able to train it ourselves. And thirdly, was the was labeling. We assessed the labeling, so identification of objects, scenes, actions, emotions. We assessed those against a number of our content genres and saw it was a good fit. We know also it's just going to improve over time. Plus, we've got the ability to manually label objects, you know, where they're important to us um, on an as-needed basis. And so, Cathy, how did you first hear about Newsbridge? Newsbridge were introduced to us by another supplier at an industry event. Um, Newsbridge already had experience of working with our existing media asset management system. And we could really see the value of integrating Newsbridge with our, with our MAM. We could really see the value that would bring to our organization, particularly with the high volume of content that we need to process. And so Phil, which Newsbridge use case corresponded to Ashark's initial needs? Just so one, uh... So the use case that that is obviously the same from for every user is to be able to find the data it needs uh, as fast as possible. So we are contributing to that indexing content. Um, we have three main use cases: metadata indexing add-on, so saying that we index the content automatically, and then we deliver the content. The second one is a media asset manager, what we call media hub, and then monetization. So with Cathy, but we, we work on the first one mainly, and a bit of the second one saying that um, documentalists are working also with AI to enrich the data. So it's not um, a black box indexing everything automatically. We can do that, but what Cathy were looking for, it was looking for, it was something that was very accurate. And to have 100% of accuracy, you still need a bit of a human review. So AI is doing the heavy lifting, indexing, auto-tagging, and the human is here to teach the AI, to validate the metadata, and also to organize the work. So it's um, when you, you index such amount of video data, you need really uh, some kind of business process management so that you know that this content has been validated, it is okay. We've enriched uh, the, the, the AI terrorists so that the AI can then detect these people in the future. So the first step was really, was really this one. So being able to index this as fast as possible, uh, even in real time when necessary. So it sounds like it was a really good fit, but Cathy, why did your team select Newsbridge and what differentiated them from other providers that you may have been benchmarking? There were several things. Um, so I'll highlight a few such as yeah, the quality and the accuracy of the Arabic transcription and English translation. That was a major factor. The use of the common thesaurus, that's really important for us. So that enables us to manage the English and Arabic um, naming of people, their job titles and labels uh, in English and Arabic, but also provide aliases or synonyms. So for example, um, we might have someone here who might search in English for sidewalk. We might have somebody who searches for the same thing as pavement, gas station, petrol station, those sorts of things. And you know, the ability to search for those in English and Arabic was just really key for us. The other, um, differentiator, I feel, was the way we've worked together with Newsbridge in a collaborative way. It's been really valuable throughout the whole project process, and we've worked together on a number of improvements and enhancements to our processes and the platform since launch. It's, it's been, yeah, it's been really great. Excellent. And so let's look back at the initial objectives. Where are we now? And are there any stats that you can share with us about the success of the project? Our target was to process 1,600 hours of content per month, which at the very beginning seemed like a huge amount of material to us. But actually we hit that target well within three months of, of launching the project. And in that three months, we did everything from fine tuning the delivery processes, from really stress testing the system, you know, the volume of files, the high numbers of small files that we deliver. Uh, so fine tuning those processes, training the team. Um, yeah, so within three months, we, we hit that target. We're really pleased. Excellent. And so fully from Rachel, are there anything from the, um, from the Newsbridge side that you want to share with us? 
Yeah, so about the, the volumes and the, this, this volume of assets that, that is huge, um, the, 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 it was really a goal to be able to, to, to index those files as fast as possible so that the journalists and the producers can really leverage indexing as soon as possible. So um, some, some um, a part of the strategy could be to analyze this, I don't know, in the night because the cloud infrastructure might be cheaper in the night, but that was not possible to do that. So we needed to have really this elastic um, indexing farm using GPUs that can really work with peak load uh, when a shark sends, sends lots of content. And it was even more complex that it's, it's kind of small files. It's not uh, fewer of those files and that it's really, it's, no, it's, it's not so, so simple to streamline those indexing. So it was really a challenge to do that, but now that everything is going on, we know that we can even do 10 times more. It's, it, it was really, um, a, a partnership we did together so that it was possible to, to make that happen. Uh, I mean, quite quickly, I think. Excellent. And so finally, Cathy, what for you are Newsbridge's top three strengths? Yeah, definitely ease of use. It's so easy and straightforward to use the platform itself and to train people, as I mentioned earlier. So it's it's just so important that when we bring new members of staff into the organization that we can get them up and running quickly, particularly with the high volume of content we need to turn around within certain amounts of time. For sure, the collaborative approach I mentioned earlier that we've had with Newsbridge, it feels like more of a partnership. Um, and as mentioned, the uh, ability to create and search for the metadata in English and Arabic has been really useful to us, particularly given the market and the wide range of users here. That's great. Thank you very much for joining us today, all of you. It's been really interesting to talk about this fascinating project and find out more about how you overcame some of those initial challenges. If you'd like to find out more about either of the companies, simply head to the website addresses that you can see on the bottom of your screen now. Thank you very much for joining us.